welcome back to RTS. I hope all of you are doing well. In today's video, I wanted to talk about a question I get all the time, and that is, what can I use for cluster bases? Now, cluster bases also could be layering pieces. What could you use to layer underneath your embellishment clusters? What could you use to layer underneath your titles? What could you use to layer underneath your journaling? And so we call it cluster bases, but it's also, what can you use for layering pieces? And so the short answer answer is anything that is flat, whether it's paper, sticker, anything. As long as it's flat, you can use it because you're using it as a base. So then your foundation starts out flat. So recently over at Patreon, we had a little bit of a hangout, some organizing, which I think at this point we have over eight hundred videos right now and a lot of them are organizing a lot of them are scrapbooking and so i talked about i was reworking my layering box now what this is is just simply a photo box just one of those that you get from michael's or hobby lobby that you already have in your stash and then i just set up this system years ago where i just put in flat pieces so anytime i needed something to layer for clusters titles or journaling or photo mats or anything extra you just need a little something on your pages layering pieces would be the fit. So all I did was just organize, add in some new 49 and market items. <laughs> and then also, what do you do when you do have different sizes of layering pieces? For me, a photo box works good because you see I have this all lined up in rainbow color. And I'm gonna share a little bit of a clip of where we were working on this. But then also I have this clearance over here where I can take these bigger pieces especially 49 and market. Look at these big layering pieces. And so what do you do with them? You put them in a box, a bin or a basket and use it as a little bit of a filing system. And so I have them all set up, ready to go. Now, of course, I didn't create any dividers or anything, but you can see that some of your bigger pieces, if you organize by color, they will, autom they will automatically create a dividing system for you. So what can you use for layering pieces? Again, anything that's flat. So first, start with what you have laying on your desk as leftovers and stragglers from previous uh, pages and cards and projects and then just put them in order by rainbow and then you can say what is too small to put in here because this is a photo box so if I get something that's too small it will probably get end up getting lost so you can think of it that way and it doesn't just have to be paper it can be scraps of paper it can be scraps of anything that's flat there's some doilies and then also we have an abundance of those four by six and three by four uh, project life and pocket journaling cards you can use those as cluster bases just because it's open in the middle doesn't mean that's just as uh, designated for journaling you can use that as a layering piece and then also if you have uh, thin frames that would be good anything that you use die cuts and your um, your die cutting and your punches anything like that uh, just honestly anything those cut apart cards that's always multiplying you know what I'm talking about that is good for cluster bases and then also think about any Anything else that is in your space that's flat and so don't forget you know we have these washi uh, sticker sheets now these are from freckle fawn and these are flat and even though it's washi it's still flat so again that could be used as cluster bases or layering pieces and then also if you have uh, transparency or acetate that would be good if you have vellum cork burlap anything that's flat, even if it has texture, it would be a good cluster base uh, also as a layering piece. And so then you can just organize them however you want, maybe by size, maybe by color, maybe by manufacturer. It's all on what you want. So this is just a little bit of a clip that we share, shared. Uh, I think that was about a 45 minute uh, video, but I'll just show a small portion. And honestly, we just set it up and I was just going through and organizing it, but I wanted to answer that, answer that question. What can you use for cluster bases or also known as layering pieces? Anything that's flat, anything that you have in your stash is good to go. So here's a little bit of that clip. I want to encourage you to come over to Patreon and hang out with us if you want longer videos, if you like organizing, if you like scrapbooking, if you like discussion. Uh, again, I think we're over 800 videos over there. So it's just a dollar a month regardless of anything. It's just a dollar a month. That's all that is. So 
Thanks for hanging out with me today. Here's a little bit of that clip and always keep recording your stories. So what this is, is just layering pieces that I can use for titles or journaling or clusters. It's just bases, really. That's all this is of different uh, sizes, different shapes, different textures, different colors. There's doilies, there's anything. And so this is just a nice little thing to have if you don't want to grab out a scrap of piece of paper or um, you want to use a scrap pieces of paper, or if you have, uh, let's see, little, um, cut apart cards, things like that. If you have stragglers and leftovers, which is where some of these have came from, these for, are from leftover from layouts. And so I need a place to put this. This is also a good thing for tags. And so here's a whole pack. So what I'm going to do is set the timer. Now, what I would love is for all of these to already be by color and just go through it. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the timer for 15 minutes. And then I'm going to see if I can just go through this box and maybe get it in order by color and then see if there's anything I want to purge. So, um, yeah, I'll just put some of these other things. These are easy. <laughs> yeah, I'll just start with the easy. So here's a little piece of um, paper. Uh, and I like it because it's music and there's doily. So these are just bigger pieces. They're too big to put in a binder. You put them in a box. Yeah, you, you're never going to use them. So I'm just going to put these ones that are solid colors. And uh, let's just see. And of course, look at all that. All the different kind of stuff. So uh, let's take this tag out, um, a tag pack out. Well, I guess I better set the timer. So uh, let's go. Let's do 15 minutes and let's see what we can get done. I'm going to take this out and see, I have a whole box of these. And you can do use different size boxes. This one actually would fit inside this one. This is just a plain old photo box. And I like this size because then if you have bigger pieces, uh, somehow you can get them in there. So let's get started. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's going to probably slow me down. So let's just get started. And I'm going to start with white and then go to cream. I could hurry up and get some of these. I guess I don't have to be in a hurry, but uh, it is nice to set the timer. Um, shut the pie hole and get stuff done. Yeah, these look like cream. And that's all I'm going to do. So here's some white. Now this is a little thing. That is too little for this box. Here's some string. That is not going in here. This will probably be about the smallest size. This tag right here, which is just a plain old shipping tag. That would be the smallest I would want in here. So right there is already white and ivory mixed up. Yeah, I knew this box was messed up. So here's library cards. Here's these kind of different shapes. And I'm just going to put them in order by size. So right there is some white done. And I am so ready to play with these again. It's been a long time since I got this box out because I knew. Uh, yeah, I knew they were a mess. Now, I'm not going to have a divider or anything like that. This is just a working box. So then I'm going to go into, uh, is this white? Oh, there's white. I'm going to throw that in there. So look what I have for white. I have tags. I have Polaroid frames, a piece of scrap, library cards, doilies, and then these die cut pieces. Go ahead in and get a die out and just do a bunch and then put them in this box. So... Yeah, so that white group is done. And that's going to go in pink. And then here is some ivory. Now, what do I do? Oh, and here's some acetate transparency. Another good option for that. So there's ivory. Did I have any other ivory right here? Is that yellow or ivory? Ooh. I'm going to stick that. I'm not sure. I'm going to put that in yellow. Uh, what was I going to say? I'm not going to make any dividers. The colors are what they are. And then when I have something that's two colors, some people would put that in pink. I would say what I'm going to use this for, I'm going to use this for a layering piece. So probably this tab would be ticking, uh, sticking out. So I'm going to put it in ivory. That's how I do it. So now let's go to pink. And if you have something tall, that will automatically serve as a divider. But here's pink. These are too small. That's That's going. Um, that could, that's, I don't know what I'm doing with that. So pink and pink and pink. See, and then here's some Project Life cards. Now these tags are small. Oh, look at this, this Amy Tangerine piece. Uh, I think I am going to, 
Oh, that's all pink. Pink, see, even cut aparts. You just don't know where to put them. Oh, and there's a big sticker. That's Amy Tangerine sticker. So a little bit of everything. Now, you wouldn't want to do this. Um, I could not put all of my Project Life cards or cut aparts in here. This is just a sampling. This is basically stragglers and leftovers. So let's put this in here. I guess there's two little pinks. I'm going to stick them in there. I got this pink. Stick it in there. I don't like these little pieces, but I'll stick them in there. That way this can be done. And what else? So there's pink. And then I am not crazy for these, but they make a nice divider. So I can easily see where the pink is. Now we're going into red. This is going fast. That was only four minutes for a couple colors. Oh, this red's still going. And see, this is messed up. There's a green in with the red. Oh, see, that came off some kind of packaging. Uh, there's green. So let's stick this back in the green. I don't like these. These are from uh, Becky Higgins' Project Life. Remember that album she did? That is going to the perch pile. I don't like those. So here we have some red. And let's see what we got. And if there's anything I don't like, this is. Uh, these are all holiday ones. These are uh, old school jelly bean. Remember these? I don't like any of those. But if I flip them over, uh, yeah, I like. I don't. I'm not crazy about that. That's gonna go. If I don't love something anymore, it just doesn't make. Um, it just doesn't take up space anymore. I have to love stuff. These are the months. Oh, and that's October afternoon. Oh, here we have more Becky Higgins. So let's stick these small ones. See, again, this is ivory and red. I'm putting it in red because this is what I would be using. I wouldn't be using the ivory part. That's just how my brain thinks. That's just my style. Doesn't mean it's right. This one is going to go. That's Cartabella. I even know that something like this is Cartabella paper. Isn't it crazy how our brains remember little details like that? So these are all red. I guess I don't have to hold this. I could stick that in red. And this is going to go. And stick those in there. Most of those are cut apart cards. So here's a tag that's red. Here's red. Here's red. So I'm going to stick them in there. Oh, these are pretty. These are Cosmo Cricut back in the day. Aren't those nice? So we have a red playing card, so let's stick that in there. Get this box going. And here is a red card. I am trying to put them in by size, but I guarantee you they're not going to stay that way. These are Becky Higgins. That is Cartabella. That's kind of cute. Those are all Becky Higgins. See, now something like this, I just look, what is a primary color? I see green. I'm going to stick that in there. Maybe I'll get to using that. So now we're going to do turquoise. Oh, uh, yeah. And again, these are out of order. There is dark turquoise. Oh, my. This is the problem. But so far, I'm liking what's in this box. I mean, I feel like I just got some new supplies. And honest to goodness, I've had these for years. I set this box up years ago, and I would uh, have it sitting out. Now, this one, there's green at the top, but I like it more for the turquoise. Oh, yeah. I like it more for the turquoise. And that is all. That's October afternoon. This is jelly bean soup. I haven't... I haven't even gotten rid of very many pieces. So this will just be sitting close to my desk. Uh, maybe it would sit on my Essex cart for a little bit. Oh, look at that. Pretty stuff. See, now that's blue. Pretty, pretty stuff. I'm going to put that in blue. Oh, my. Look at these. I'm so glad I have these. So if you want to make up a layering box, just get, you could use uh, like this. That looks like a scrap. 
think of it in the three by four size, four by six size. Go get some uh, project life cards, journaling cards, cut apart cards, tags, labels, uh, these die cuts. Remember we had these back in the day? Oh, look at these little things. Just as sweet as can be. Those, those kind of pieces, you got them from die cut packs. And here we have darker turquoise, and I'm not going to separate them by color. See these type of die cuts. I am just sticking these all in here, basically by size. And some of them, you were a child in the 80s if. Oh, both of those are nice. You are a child. If you listen to Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. See, these are darker, but I'm not going to separate them. Again, this is um, Stella Rose, My Mind's Eye, 2011. Sticking them in there. I like all of those. So sticking those in there. That's a nice size turquoise. Wait, I got some more. Turquoise. See, I don't like that at all. But that is beautiful. Um, but that's my little sampling of black. And then I'm going to go ahead and stick... Uh, I think I'm going to stick, I only have a couple pieces of gold, and I usually put gold at the end, but I'm just going to stick these up in the front with the white, just so maybe I see them. So, that is the box in rainbow color, and this is what it looks like. And so, nothing is sticking over, so the lid will go on, so you don't have to worry about dust, but I would just keep it open. And I will tell you, back in the day... Photo boxes were made so much better than they are now. Now, this is my purge pile so far. Um, that's my purge pile so far. Now, I have these, all these things. So, I will just look at these and see if they will fit in here. Now, this will be a good divider for the turquoise. Uh, here's another piece. This is 49 to market. These are too big. What are you doing with them? Oh, I didn't even have a purple. So um, now I have purple. A few pieces. Here is some blue. So it's so easy to put this stuff away now because I have it in order. Uh, here's some pink. Stick the pink in there. More pink. These are from Hip Kit, I believe in one of their sales. So let's talk about these for a minute. Let's go ahead and put those away. But these would be good dividers. So there's green. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> they stick up, don't they? I'm going to put this in ivory. And here we have, there's pink. And here's purple. Oh man, don't they make such nice dividers? You're going to see them now. Look at them. Uh, I'll see if I can put that up. See, you're going to see them now. And then here's another pink. They make good dividers. So what else do we have? We have some of these doilies. Here's another pink one. So stick them in there. This, I'm going to put it in yellow just because I need a divider. Here's more purple. Let's stick them in there. Purple, purple. Yeah, I go from a couple pieces, so there's four. Now, what do you do with things like this? It's going to be too wide this way. So, since this is a photo box, and most of my stuff is not more than six inches, there is some room here that I can put these bigger pieces. And if I want them in here, I'm going to have to, just like this. Now, this green will fit. But some of these bigger pieces, see, it's not going to fit this way. <laughs> the pink won't fit this way. And the green won't fit this way so it's just a matter of finagling or you just find another place for these but with our 49 in market i'm getting quite the assortment of this stuff and when you see things like this now when i see this in the box i'll say to myself oh you know you have 49 in market stuff so some of these may go on the side this that's too big i don't know what i'm going to do with that i guess i could cut it down you know, I'm not afraid to do that. Here's another blue. Where's that turquoise? We'll stick it in there. Oh, the green. See these little things? That's, that's a big difference in size when you're looking at these. And I can't have them standing up too much. They have to lay back. 
Oh my goodness, that looks so nice. Oh, see now I just want to keep on going. But let's see if the green gets in there. And here's some turquoise. Here's pink. Let's see where this will go. So now I can get rid of these doodle bugs because I'm not crazy about them. I was using it as a divider, so I can get rid of them. Here's another pink one. And I put all the pink, doesn't matter the shades. Oh, yeah. Now what do you do with things like this? They're multicolor. So I could just put them up the up front. Um, but I'm so excited to get some of these uh, smaller pieces in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to see what other doilies. Because I have a whole stack of this that I need to figure out where it's going. Oh, look here. We have uh, these. I think these are 49 in market. Uh, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this one in pink for sure. This one would you put in red? Yeah, why not? Divide the color. Oh, here we have white. That I'm not gonna keep. So now we have a white one. I did not think that these would be good dividers, but they are. I'm assuming this is teal. So let's sandwich that in there. Here's some yellow. We'll sandwich all of those in there. Here is green. See, this is going much quicker now because I already got the color system set up. So have you done anything like this? And this is just flat pieces. And you know, with our 49 in market, you just get so many things. See, now here's frames. What, do, what are we putting that in? That looks kind of orange. I'm gonna stick it back here. Yeah. I don't know. I think that looks kind of red. Oh, I'll just stick it there. This is turquoise, so let's stick that there. This is green. We'll stick it there. I don't know what this is. It looks like a red orange. I'm just going to stick it there. I'll see it. And here is a white one. Uh, what else do we have? We have these. Now, what would you do with these? I'd say just pick a color. You're going to see them. So this is definitely yellow. So let's stick that in the yellow. The butterfly is green, so we'll stick this little fellow in the green. Then why do I, I have that in the wrong place. I guess you probably saw that. This one, I see peach, so I'm gonna stick it in orange. Don't have very much in there. And this is like a red coral pink, so I'm just gonna stick it in red. Now what else do we have? I'll put these in a little bit of a color uh, arrangement. See, there's the blue. I would never find that. If I had something small. But these are all getting to, these are all getting to a bigger size. And they're beautiful layering pieces. So I think what I'll do is I'll put the colored ones up front, like these. That way I can see the color ones first, so I will do it a little bit different on the side here because I want to see these pretty ones first and then I'll just put them to the side and then I won't put the lid on I'll just have it sitting here and then I'll have it to play with so that's all I have for today come back to RTS because you never know what we're gonna do